गुरु चरण कमले नमो कैलाश पति We often talk about two things. One, first thing is being Hindu, and the other thing is in terms of religion, we often talk about Sanatana Dharma. So what is the difference? What is it? So the important thing that we need to understand that the religion, that way that we talk about the Sanatana Dharma, is something which is not really a basis only something that you read in a book. You read religiously and then they forget about it. No, it is something that you have learned over ages, you have refined and you have brought it to the level of perfection. And that is why it is called Sanatan. It existed all over ages. You have learned, it has been practiced and that is why those of you who learn about Hinduism in more detail, we have Shruti and we have Smruti. A lot of emphasis is placed on what was heard and what was memorized. Then come the scriptures. And the scriptures are again many. There's not only one book that tells us about our religion. There are multiple things. And each one of them has a certain aspect, a lesson of life to learn from. So we have Mahabharat, we have Ramayana, we have Bhagavad Gita, which is part of Mahabharat. But we have also the Upanishads, we have so many other Puran. And all of them, they speak about a specific aspect of life from which to learn and to refine ourselves. So that is the outcome of the real religion in terms of Sanatana Dharma. But when it comes to Hinduism, we are talking about, in a way, the physical extent, what we think about. And the word Hindu comes from the river Sindhu. Being a part of a Hindu youth summit is a choice. And as Hindu youth, you will always have choices in life. Today, you've made a wise choice to come here, to be engaged, to interact, to network, and to share profound perspectives on Sanatan Vedic Dharma. As Hindus in a world that is secular, that is global in its perspective and views, that is something for all of us to wonder where do we fit in? What is our purpose? What is our role? And more importantly, what are our responsibilities? And I say our because we do have a collective responsibility to this more than 6,000 year old dynamic, comprehensive way of life. Sanatana Vedic Dharma has been there for eons. It has outlived many and it will outlive us. As members of this fraternity of believers and thinkers who follow the distilled knowledge of sages and seers of yesteryear, sages and seers who have charted a course for us, and also the teachings of our scriptures, the Ramayana, the Bhagavad Gita, it is incumbent on us in this time, today, tomorrow, and every day to ensure that we honor a sacred responsibility that has been passed on to us. What is this responsibility? What is this duty that we have? To ensure that we not only actively participate in everything, but we become leaders in the spheres in which we find ourselves. 